Well, welcome everyone. You may recognize this starting screen from few years ago. Man, I feel kinda nostalgic to this. Today I'm playing an older mod, Bosnian rework. So that's why we are going back in the versions. If my Slav month quotas are met, this should be the 10th video of May. This is the most ambitious month in history of my channel. By this rate, I will upload more videos in May than in the year 2022. Overall, that was a shit year for me but now 2023 we are so back so if you are enjoying this shit don't forget to subscribe for more hearts of iron 4 videos like these and i don't know maybe leave a like if you enjoyed this video as well and comment some very random history moment that comes to your mind somehow our little nation of bosnia is independent and yeah it creates a very funny borders with yugoslavia we are basically surrounded something like lesotho and south africa style we are led by our own democratic adolf hitler and yeah we need to take care of croats and serbs these are very bad modifiers as you can see well i don't feel safe so let's create some little bosniak divisions you know it wouldn't be bosnia if we didn't get that artillery up. Yeah, I love this version of the game where you just research your doctrine. Now we finally have a standing army that hopefully can protect us. And yeah, this guy is the Bosnian SS division. It's a little bit too early for that, don't you think? Anyway, we will just discredit the Sarajevo Accords and pick away our nation will go. Hey, taking a little stability and political power never killed anyone. Just don't drive in Sarajevo though. That's a little tourist tip for ya. Time to go for Bosna Zove because uh, we will do what's called a massive amount of trolling. Also I really like that the Bosnia has its own dub. This guy just sounds like as if he's screaming Pepsi. Now let's also solve our ethnological and religious thingies so we don't just, you know, explode into an explosive civil war. And we got a Sarajevo rally, oh I don't know what this is about. PLS don't shoot me. Hey, this is excellent, 2% stability, what could I do without this? You know, this guy's parents just woke up and named him a fascist politician. One of the most interesting names that came from Boston but we will get Hali Malkovich as our fascist demacock. Hey, don't mind me, I just need a little bit of military industry to create that Bosnian artillery. Hey, we will no longer be terrorized by Ustashe, we will terrorize ourselves. I'm just gonna get some of that stability back, because we kinda need that, to be honest. Oh no, fascism on the rise, I couldn't see this coming, oh no. And we have demanded the referendum and are now a Bosniak national state with a British dissolved parliament in charge. You know, let me fix that right away. We will go for a Islamist Bosnia. We will become an Islamic state. That's very nice. We are pretty much the only Muslim nation that is allowed to drink alcohol because we are Slavic after all. You know, everything is going according to the plan. We need that stability to go from one to something else, preferably higher. Now we are led by by Mehmed Handzic. Yeah, this checks out the most Muslim first name and the most Slavic surname. Welcome to Bosnia, I guess. Let's get little spice in Bosnia by implementing the Sharia law code. Alhamdulillah, the Balkan Jihad will happen very soon. Hey, look, everything is nicely coming together in my country. Thank you for the stability, finally. Let me also conscript every Bosniak imaginable, because yeah, the manpower issues will be huge when we start doing what we want to do. And this is very beautiful, no more Chetnik resistance or whatever. Amelia Earhart disappears, but the most important question is if she had permission to fly from her husband. Oh, did I mention that we need a fuck ton of manpower for everything? No, that's only good, because now we will get some brains and books, and that means we will research faster. Don't mind me taking Dreja 
Mikhailovich. To Cord and Jelling him for 200 PP, thank you for the contribution to my nation. This was very helpful indeed. Hey, why not to have some paramilitarism? Gimme, gimme. When the Germans did the thingy with Austria, it's time that we declare jihad against the Yugoslavia. And before we get the war goal, I will slow time a bit, we'll join the Axis and then declare war so nobody can guarantee them. So now it's time to properly do this shit. So as you can see we were able to cut the whole Yugoslavia to small pieces and we already are in Belgrade. that's very nice. Uh, Belgrade may have been recaptured but that's just a minor setback for our huge comeback. This is truly a common Bosnian W. Now come to think of it, during Slav month only Slavic people suffer from other Slavic people even more. Anyway, let's not think about that too much, because we need to steal a sort of Islam from Benito Mussolini. Hey, don't mind me, I'm just getting all of these people of Yugoslavia in check. Sorry Mr. Mussolini, but Bosniak said that you have to die, and I just hope that the Germans will come in time to save us all. And you know what, I feel generous today because I don't feel like losing stability, so we will tolerate some religions. Oh no, those Bosnian madmen just invaded Sardinia and took it for themselves, don't mind it, paratroopers on Rome failed. And in the meantime I will wage a jihad against the Hungary and just hope that we can win. Hey man, don't mind me just using the Germans to kill themselves all so we can maybe one day conquer them too. I only see this as total Bosnian victory. Hey, don't mind me getting that little Albania as well. Now the question is, how many Italians can we massacre here? Answer is, quite a lot. Also let us promote our economy and get minus 10% consumer goods because that's always very good and also one more research slot never kills anyone. Yeah, this is just a huge massacre of Italian troops, but I don't know how this province works. It looks too fucking weird. You know I really like the paratroopers, how you can use them for a pretty quick travel. Yep, yeah, you see, a lot of success. You look at this, Poland invading Soviet Union, Soviet Union invading Poland, nobody fucking knows. But yeah, the Soviets are now at war with the Allies, that's very good. And we are still stuck here with Italy. Yeah, so maybe I have underestimated the Italians just a little bit, but um, who cares? Maybe my troops, but but we don't ask them for their opinions. Now even Germany got involved in fun with Poland and there is a lot of British troops stuck here, so if we are fast enough and can capitulate France maybe, and maybe we can just knock out France out of the existence, so yes, the brave Bosnian paratroopers have defeated the whole nation of France. Isn't this just beautiful? The Islamic State of Bosnia. Now both fingers crossed that nobody is in the UK. And it seems like that we can maybe make a landing. Yes, we are in. The Bosniaks have landed. Oh, it's just too late, my British friends. Oh, shut the fuck up with draft dodging. We need every Bosniak available to burn down London. Oh no, the surprise attack is worse. King. Nobody can withstand the most brave Islamic troops. The Bosnian artillery is raining down on the whole UK and nobody here will be okay. London has fallen, the whole British society is collapsing. Hey, don't mind my huge amount of trolling. More reinforcements are arriving and hopefully we can manage this. Like everyone is trying to defend this little island from us. But it seems that it won't be enough. The brave Bosniaks just keep going and going. Nobody really cares how many divisions we lose. Churchill never expected 400,000 Bosniaks to just turn up to a United Kingdom and capitulate them all. And finally we can do the Balkan campaign because we have enough manpower. Like conscripting your whole population into an army is pretty based if you ask me. Now how are we going to capitulate Italy that it's entrenched this well here? There is a simple answer for that, we will just go around them. Sorry Petten, I just have to kill you. You know this will be pretty awkward when you know France joins allies and they just have to you know coexist with free France. Now, 
as you can see, my brave Bosnian Giga Army can just chew from them. And oh fuck oh shit, Romania joined the war against us. That's not very good. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Don't mind me, just encircling a fuck ton of troops. This is always nice. You know, I don't get how this bullshit is even possible. How the fuck is Germany guaranteeing Italy and Italy guaranteeing Germany while they are at fucking war? Hello? Is Mussolini alright? And look, I have created a ship out of a thin air. Because, um, we fucking can. Sorry, Italy, but this day belongs to the Bosnian army. As you can see, the strongest army in the world. Hey, oh, just don't mind me walking towards Rome. I'm just creating Rome has fallen moment. Mr. Mussolinovich is just realizing how powerful the southern Slavs are when they are united under Bosnia. After dropping one guy to Palermo, everything is alright. Northern Ireland is Protestant, Catholic. Nah, today it's Muslim because you can't just agree on shit. Now we just have gained a quite a large caliphate of our own. Let us now proclaim ourselves as Khalifa, because well hell we can do that shit. Let's now celebrate our greatness by destroying a nation of Greece. Yeah, we just can do this shit and they joined the Chinese United Front. Why? You know, it is what it is, but we do not care because we can get some more war goals that will be quite useless to us. You know, this is all just fine. Fighting Greece that is just part of the Chinese United Front. Most cursed shit you will ever see today. This is some crazy shit, we are fighting an invisible enemy. I'm sorry Turkey, but I want Istanbul so I can lay my balls in that city. Yes, a nice addition to Chinese United Front. What the fuck are the Americans doing here? They are probably just getting home from some Middle Eastern mission. You know, I can respect the grind. Also, I would completely forget about this. We will implement a GZ attack so everyone shut the fuck up and pay up. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Iraq just has capital city in Kuwait. Operation Desert Storm is just coming too nicely. We need to recapture this little city again. And to be a proper caliphate, we just need the little Mecca to have. Saudis, I just need it a bit more than you. Trust me, bro. This is beautiful. We are just walking through an empty desert. Who would have guessed that invading Arabia would be this simple? Now, as you can clearly see, the Muslim world was liberated and is led from Sarajevo, the city where only fun things happen. So yeah, tell me in the comments if you have enjoyed this little episode. I know it will come out a little bit late than I want it. But hey, at least it's here. I kinda have overly ambitious plan, but if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description. And a special thanks goes to Razonon and that one dude for being the highest channel members.